Ahead of its time, NASA has made and launched the world's most complicated, biggest, and most powerful telescope, the James Webb Telescope. Its aim is to answer the biggest and most mysterious questions of the scientific community. In particular, solve the question of the Big Bang. Has its latest discovery done this? Deep down, we're all fascinated by the universe and space. As you look at the sky full of stars, you begin to picture them in your brain. You sometimes try to figure out their size and shape, but you need a telescope to do that properly. Not necessarily a ground telescope, but a space telescope. The difference between the two is that a ground telescope has limited visibility, and its vision can be affected by the weather, but a space telescope above Earth has a better view and is not interrupted by the weather. The mission behind the James Webb Telescope is all geared towards understanding and knowing space better, to unravel the unseen and witness the untouchable. Named after NASA head James Webb, who helped launch the Apollo program, the telescope went through extensive testing and redesigning that cost about $10 billion in total. It was launched in December 2021 and took a month to reach its destination. 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, at the Lagrange L2 point, the telescope will sit above Earth, and since it arrived there, it has been sending images that we never anticipated. The James Webb Space Telescope detects infrared radiation. This means it can detect things that are not visible to the human eye. It can see things like planets, nebulae, stars that are too faint for regular telescopes to see. Infrared light has a longer wavelength than visible light. As a result, it can pass through dust and gas, allowing the telescope to take pictures of invisible things. This is because when light travels through the universe, it stretches and becomes infrared. By looking at infrared light, the telescope will be able to see the first formed stars and galaxies after the Big Bang. The JWST has a huge sun shield that is supposed to keep the telescope cool, since the infrared light is warm, and if the telescope isn't kept cool, it runs the risk of blinding itself to the light of the object it's trying to examine. If you compare the James Webb Telescope to the Hubble Telescope, you'll see that the Hubble Telescope was able to see things that were 60,000 times fainter to the human eye due to its 2.4-meter aperture, but couldn't see beyond that. The James Webb Telescope has a mirror three times bigger than Hubble's. And although the Hubble Telescope has seen infrared objects from 0.8 to 2.5 microns, it cannot see as well as the James Webb Telescope. Because it is really limited to seeing ultraviolet and visible light, whereas the James Webb Telescope can see light on the spectrum from 0.6 microns to 28. Furthermore, because it looks at infrared light, the James Webb Telescope is able to look back in time. According to NASA experts, the telescope can see up to 100 million years ago when the Big Bang happened. This means it can see the time when stars and galaxies began to form. The goals of the James Webb Telescope mission can be broken down into four segments. Number one is to see into the past to spot the stars and galaxies that were there in the first place right after the Big Bang. Number two is to compare those galaxies with those of today. This will prove whether the universe is still expanding or not. This is important because according to the Big Bang theory, scientists believe the universe started from a point of singularity and then expanded at an unimaginable speed, but this expansion rate became constant and the universe changed into the one we currently know, but continues to stretch. Number three, the telescope will be able to see through astronomical dust, which will help us understand the formation of our solar system. And number four, the telescope will be used to find life on other planets, which ultimately is its biggest aim. The latest picture sent by the James Webb Telescope shows a single star repeating itself in a hexagonal pattern of the alignment of the telescope. This marked the first major stage in aligning the long 18-segmented primary mirrors. 
The 18 images will combine and align into a single picture, but in the short term, the result shows a celestial snowflake made by a single star. The FGS, or Fine Guidance Sensor, was contributed by Honeywell from CSA, the Canadian Space Agency. FGS will now be utilized to assist with the ongoing alignment of the 18 hexagonal segments that make up the telescope's primary mirror. It's been proceeding well so far. The FGS is using the star as a waypoint to lock the image. In their blog post on Friday the 18th of February 2022, NASA officials said, the resulting image shows that the team has moved each of Webb's 18 primary mirror segments to bring 18 unfocused copies of a single star into a planned hexagonal formation. The next step is segment alignment, which will correct any major positioning mistakes in the primary mirror's individual segments and update the secondary mirror's alignment. After this comes the third step, which is called image stacking, in which the observatory will place the images on top of each other, giving one clear image of the star. This three-step process allows the team an intuitive and natural way of visualizing changes. Since the team of scientists is currently focused on aligning the mirror, the mirror should be working from this summer. So why is the Big Bang Theory so important that scientists launched a $10 billion telescope into space to prove it? Well, the idea behind the Big Bang is that the universe started from a single particle, which expanded rapidly. Everything in the universe was condensed into an infinitesimally small singularity, a point of infinite density and heat. Around 13.7 billion years ago, our universe suddenly began to expand at a rate greater than the speed of light. According to scientist Alan Guth's 1980 theory, which transformed the way we think about the Big Bang forever, this was a phase of cosmic inflation that lasted only fractions of a second, maybe as little as one thirty-second of a second. When cosmic inflation came to an abrupt and still mysterious end, the reheating of matter and radiation began to populate our universe with the things we know today – particles, atoms, and the stuff that would eventually become stars and galaxies. According to NASA, this all happened in the first second after the universe began, when the temperature of everything was still incredibly hot – around 10 billion degrees Fahrenheit, or 5.5 billion degrees Celsius. The universe now included a broad array of fundamental particles like neutrons, electrons and protons, the raw ingredients that would eventually become the building blocks for everything we know today. The James Webb Telescope is specially designed to see the oldest light in the universe, so it can take images of those past galaxies and stars and give us a glimpse of the time the universe began. When the James Webb Telescope begins its mission in summer 2022, we hope the scientists can prove their Big Bang Theory right and reveal some incredible facts about our universe. Are you excited to see what the James Webb Telescope will discover? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell notification to keep up to date on all our future videos, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching, see you next time.